All right, so number 71 on the CP practice final exam corresponds to number 66, I'm sorry, 69 on the honors final exam. Um, and the question is, what type of chemical reaction is represented? And type is specified in this uh, parentheses as being the classification. So what classification of chemical reaction is represented? And I have two chemicals here. Um, you need to notice that you have more than three elements here. Since you have more than three elements, you need to look for a polyphilic ion. You will look on the, um, and the test references. If you're in CP, you're going to look on the test references for the common ions list. And we can see this is a sulfide ion. So we've got a one part of this chemical. One part of this chemical is a sulfite. The other part of this chemical is hydrogen, two-part chemical. Again, you can look it up on the uh, um, or, um, common ions list and find that this is a polyatomic ion. So that's a one-part chemical. And this is barium, a one-part chemical. If you're in honors, you're supposed to memorize these ions like this. And you know that they're polyatomic ions tend to stay together in reactions so that you will uh, know that then this is a one part, this is another part of the chemical here on the left, one part here, and the other part's over here. So these are two two-part chemicals. So if you have two two-part chemicals, if there's going to be a reaction, it will be the result of a um, double replacement reaction most of the time. All right, so let's go and uh, uh, classify this then. If we, if we have two two-part chemicals, if a reaction is going to take place, this has to be a double replacement reaction. But, in addition to that, you should know that because this species has a hydrogen on the front, that it's an acid. And this species, because it has an, a hydroxide on the back, that it's a base. So in addition to this, you must also classify this as an acid-base reaction. 